Welcome to City Arts and Lectures, a season of talks and on-stage conversations recorded before a theatre audience in San Francisco, featuring distinguished cultural figures from around the world. I'm Larry Hunt. Join me now in celebrating some of the most distinguished artists, writers, and thinkers of our day as they address contemporary ideas and values, often discussing the creative process. These unique programs offer diverse perspectives on literature, criticism, the performing arts, and how we think about the world we live in today. Our guest is distinguished author and cultural icon, president of the non Composmentist chapter of the National Association for the Directionally Confused and Traffic Enfeebled. Mr. Kilturnan has been lecturing extensively and making lots of money while accumulating all sorts of accomplishments for over 60 years in the field of traffic investigation reportage and the art of traffic befuddlement. His works include Decline and Fall of American Traffic Decorum, Spazzatura in the Fast Lane, two suspense novels titled The Two Timing Traffic Light and Commuter's Revenge, as well as the light opera Avanti Rotarian. He won the National Traffic Award in 1962. Mr. Kirtanen's most recent book, Point to Point Circumnavigation, is a memoir from 1962 to the present. It includes memories about his live radio debates with William F. Buckley during his run for United States Senator for California in 1984. It also tells more personal stories, such as the death of his long-term companion, lovely Rita the Mita Maid. A resident of Italy for many years, Mr. Kilturnan currently lives in Los Angeles, in Golita, in Bakersfield, in Newark, and in Enniscary. On November 15, 2006, Floyd Kilturnan visited the Herbst Theatre in San Francisco to speak about the stealth turn maneuver and to be interviewed on stage by Edward G. Murrow, host of KQED's California Report. Join me now for a conversation with Floyd Kilternal. Welcome to all here. Um, we welcome Floyd Kilternan. I am going to be providing translation services this evening. Although Mr. Kilternan understands spoken English, uh, Mr. Kilternan speaks only the language of chaos theory, which latterly has spun out into the dialects of string and quark, uh, which I do not believe many people here understand. I will be providing translation services as uh, Mr. Kilturnan speaks. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kilturnan. <laughs> the stealth turn is one of the most delightful maneuvers practiced daily on the road. It beats hands down the freeway hopover exit, the scraping tailgate lambada, the unexpected Dixie horn blast, the on-ramp jitterbug, and the lost passenger tango. Uh, Mr. Kirtlernan? Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> Adding the stealth turn to a combination of these and other techniques will provide zest and excitement to the road. The results can be marvelously spectacular at times. <laughs> There are many who simply disdain the turn signal entirely. It frightens them. This maneuver can become simply a road action upon the road lacking in style and grace. Practicing and perfecting the stealth turn brings one well into the company of such notables as CIA operatives James Bond and the most sophisticated chauffeurs for New York's prestigious Giotti and Bonanno families. <laughs> Properly understood, the stealth turn is not merely an abrupt change in direction without checking speed or using a signal, but a marvelous and stunning reversal of direction akin to the great tactics employed by history's most renowned military leaders. It includes a bevy of actions, such as the 65 mile per hour right hand freeway exit from the left hand lane, as well as the classic left turn through an intersection from the right turn arrow lane against the light. <laughs> Practiced well, people will stand in awe of you, and even drivers of SUV behemoths will keep their distance as your fame exfoliates like a brilliant rose. The true practitioner considers issues of legality and safety quibbles to be preposterous hindrances upon the inalienable rights of man and woman to push the envelope. Rules are made to be flouted, and be it known that it has been scientifically proven that no driver has ever proceeded on any journey of even a mile without violating at least twelve ordinances, and that driving an automobile is statistically impossible for the normal human being. The range of stimuli exceeds human perceptual acuity one hundredfold, and this has been proven by scientists. Our society holds these truths to be self-evident, and so we promote the ludic quality of driving for all. <laughs> there is an island in the San Francisco Bay, which is home to some of the world's best artisans of the wheel in this regard. They really are better and more devious than even the Milanese or the Parisians, and that is saying something. <laughs> I have seen the stealth turn brought to a fine art by the drivers on this island, and they do it all, maintaining a constant speed of no more than 24 miles per hour throughout the island. One can observe how an island driver moves with ponderous grace, not unlike the famous hippo of Africa, gliding into the intersection, beginning a right-hand turn, and then startlingly and with genius darts over to the left with a sinuous sort of shimmy. Absolutely beautifully done. <laughs> If you become adept at this maneuver, adding it to your repertoire of old standards, they'll never know where you are going. This is the end of part one. In part two, Floyd will discuss how one can become a member of his organization.